so I went down to edit this video and then all of a sudden I looked and it was completely out of focus. So here's take two. Today we're going to be talking about the Fear of God Essentials photo t-shirt that was supposed to be an unwrapping, but we're just going to have a review of it. Let's talk about it. So Fear of God Essentials, new piece, new collection. This is the photo collection. So there was a hoodie, a, I believe a sweatshirt, and then a long sleeve and a short sleeve. So there's like kind of something from everything. There's I think eight pieces in total. There's the white ones and the black ones. I picked up a white long sleeve just because I was really curious. I've actually never owned anything from Fear of God that was a white piece. And mind you, by saying Fear of God, I really mean essentials, not mainline Fear of God. But I think it, it goes out of the way because I've never owned anything white from mainline. So what can you expect from this? So some differences I actually noted in the first one that I'll repeat a lot of this, so I'll say again. But the essentials right on the front if you can pick it up, maybe you can't, maybe you can. I don't know. It will say Fear of God Essentials right here, but it'll be in yellow, not white, yellow. And it's just something a little bit different that I wasn't used to. And opening the bag up, you will now be greeted with the Fear of God Essentials long sleeve t-shirt in white. You can see it says Essentials right down here. It is in like the screen printed. I don't know. I've seen some people's Fear of God's falling off on some of their stuff. I don't know if it'll do it with this. And then you can see really what you buy this t-shirt for is this right here. This is the photo that's on here. It's really cool. Um, when I looked at it the first time, it was something that was like, almost like this Japanese rose garden. I don't know, Japanese rose garden isn't really the best one, but kind of like Japanese flowers in that sense. Um, and I thought it looked really cool. So it's almost why I picked it up. Something that's good to note with this collection versus the last collection is actually the neckline. It's actually a little bit thicker. It's around like one and a half inches, I would say, in terms of like actual neck collar. It almost feels more, and when you put it on, it actually looks more like a mock neck rather than a crew neck. I actually have something from the fall winter collection right here. And this is just like a black crew neck. You can definitely tell it's from the new collection because it has the new essentials tag right here um, that's in black. Previous ones were in cream. And one thing to actually note that I noted in the video I, that, that was completely out of focus. But when I first looked, this tag is actually more like a mainline collection rather than the old essentials ones, which kind of like tags more like, I don't explain it. There's like two stitchings on either side and you can put your finger in between it. The new one, for this photo collection at least, has like a flap instead. I actually really like the flap better. It reminds me more of mainline. It doesn't have any puffiness that you'll find in the mainline one where it's kind of like raised letters. This one is definitely just like screen printed on. I don't know how you want to say it, but just printed on, nothing too special there. This is made in China, so you're gonna get the Chinese quality. Actual thickness of this t-shirt isn't really that thick. It's more like a medium weight shirt. If you have darker nipples, you can definitely tell. I'll just tell you that from experience. Putting this thing on, it's, you can definitely tell if it's a little bit nippy outside and it can poke through. If you don't have as dark of nips, you're probably fine. If you're like me, then good luck wearing this long term. And I will show you guys what it looks like on right now. And boom, now all of a sudden I'm in white. I'm definitely a lot more holier now because I'm in white instead of black. That's like most of my wardrobe back here. But yeah, you can definitely tell the essentials right here. It definitely is a boxier fit. It does feature drop shoulders. It's not super duper oversized. It's more like a slightly baggier fit. It's more of like a normal fit for this one for me. I went with a size large, which is what I buy with pretty much all my essentials pieces. And I find that it fits well. It doesn't fit like super duper baggy, which I kind of like. I kind of like more of the slightly oversized look, but not too oversized where you're drowning in it. Just like the slight oversized nature of it. Like as you can kind of tell like right here, it doesn't really hug my body at all, which is kind of what I like. Just because I got a little bit more love right here. Um, it definitely helps, you know, just keep it really flowy. It does have drop shoulders on it. And then the neck, you can kind of tell, is a little bit thicker than what I found in other ones. Maybe it's just a long sleeve. Maybe the other ones aren't like that. I don't know, I'm kind of impartial on it. I'm not too ecstatic either way on it. But overall, I would definitely say that if you're looking to pick up a long sleeve in white or black and you really like the photo on the back, this is definitely something I think you should pick up. But let me know you guys thoughts are in the comments below. This is just gonna be a really quick video on this. There's nothing too much to this shirt. It's just a white t-shirt with essentials right here and on the back. If you've seen any of my other essentials pieces, you kind of know most of them you just want to size down one. This one I did the same thing, I just sized down to a large. I'm pretty much between extra large and a large. Large fits me perfectly how I want it. 
I have seen people say that some of the shirts do fit a little bit small, so keep that in mind. I would definitely do your research a little bit before you pick up any Essentials piece because I think that they fit all a little bit differently. And even this collection, a lot of the t-shirts fit a little bit smaller. This one, I actually like how they fit. I don't like super oversized shirts anymore as much as I used to. I love super oversized hoodies and sweatshirts, not as much t-shirts anymore. But overall, I think this one fits well. This one will be good for winter time once that comes. But let me know what you guys thoughts are in the comments below about this. If you're new to the channel, just know I make a lot of videos like this. On Thursday's video, you'll definitely see a video about minimal X denim and how it fits. So that'll be featured then. So if you want to see that, I would subscribe and hit that notification bell just to keep you informed when I upload a video. I upload videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 2.30. And if you're lucky, there might be another video and it'll probably be another video on Sunday just with a little life update. But with saying all that, like I end every video here, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.